A glass of red wine a day keeps a gym membership away. If you are one of those people who loves red wine and hates exercise, this might be excellent news. But is it actually news? Fact or myth? A glass of red wine is equivalent to an hour of exercise. But this is, without a doubt, a myth. Why? Well, that goes back to how the myth originally came to be. Back in 2012, a research study discovered that a compound found in red wine, resveratrol, improved skeletal muscle strength and cardiac muscle during exercise training in rats, and therefore enhanced their exercise performance. Fast forward two years later and the media bursts with numerous headlines like, science says a glass of red wine may be equivalent to an hour at the gym. So, although it's difficult to pinpoint the exact cause of the myth, somehow something got lost in translation. We can be fairly certain that it arose due to a misinterpretation by a reporter who was either genuinely misinformed or who thought the headline would attract more readers. To make matters worse, after the extravagant publicity on the topic died down, it resurfaced a year later when, in 2015, similar news articles were being published by the day. Why was it that people just couldn't let it go? Well, it could be because of wishful thinking or because of the social acceptance of drinking red wine, or perhaps it was a combination of both. Whatever the reasons, they seem to be dwindling as the truth about the study is surfacing as news agencies contact the source and lead author of the original study, Dr. Jason Dick. Let's see what he and his study have to say. Have you ever wondered what it is about red wine that makes it so healthy? Well. Red wine is believed to have many health benefits due to a compound known as resveratrol. It is present in many plant-based foods in our diets like peanuts, cranberries, and blueberries. Resveratrol is an antioxidant also released by grape skins in response to physical damage. This is why red wine contains much higher amounts than white wine since it is only red wine that is fermented with grape skins and not white wine. Now you may be asking, what is an antioxidant and how does it work? Antioxidants are compounds that remove harmful substances known as prooxidants and prevent them from damaging the body. Prooxidants can be acquired internally or externally due to harmful substances like UV light, cigarette smoke, or car exhaust. Without enough antioxidants, prooxidants can attack DNA, proteins, and fats in the body, causing cell and tissue damage. This is known as oxidative stress and is known to cause several diseases such as cardiovascular and neurological, as well as inflammatory problems and aging. But not to worry, because the human body can produce antioxidants itself, as well as obtain them externally by eating foods such as fruits, vegetables, tea, wine, nuts, and seeds to fight off prooxidants. In the study that originated all this media attention, researchers looked at four different groups of rats. Inactive rats following either a standard diet or a diet with resveratrol, and another two groups who went through exercise training and either a regular diet or a diet supplemented by resveratrol. With rats that consumed resveratrol and exercised, researchers found that leg muscle contraction force and duration improved, suggesting improvements in overall exercise performance. Rats without did not have this improvement. Researchers also found the breakdown of stored fats for energy in skeletal muscle and use of oxygen was greater in rats that consumed resveratrol and exercised. Additionally, these rats were also found to have an increased heart ability to adapt to high exercise workloads. Now, remember how resveratrol is an antioxidant released by grape skins during the winemaking process? Well, the benefits of humans consuming resveratrol are still under debate. Most resveratrol studies conducted have been performed on rat models, like the ones previously mentioned, that were given a much higher dose of resveratrol than a human would consume by moderately drinking red wine. This suggests that the small amounts humans ingest from their diets may not be enough to have many benefits. In multiple studies, resveratrol's effects were studied in humans who consumed a typical glass of wine. It was observed to be easily and quickly absorbed by the body, showing that it would have very short-term effects, if any. The amount of resveratrol absorbed into the body was also shown to be different for each person and unrelated to the type of meal eaten. Based on this data, it is hard to say whether or not resveratrol consumed from red wine and other dietary sources is in large enough quantities to have the health benefits it is so widely believed to have. In summary, resveratrol is an antioxidant. 
An antioxidant is a substance that protects the body from many harmful substances. Studies on rats show improved skeletal muscle and cardiac function in those who consumed resveratrol and exercised. However, in humans, moderately drinking red wine does not allow us to consume resveratrol in large enough quantities for it to have health benefits. So, what's the truth? Due to the powerful antioxidants that it contains, red wine does actually have some health benefits. These range from reducing oxidative damage, helping prevent heart disease and cancer, and fighting inflammation and blood clotting. There is even research linking daily red wine consumption to reduced risk of dementia and depression. However, these benefits are only observed in moderate doses of red wine, which researchers usually describe as 1-2 to two glasses a day in their studies. Higher intake is shown to cause alcohol dependency, weight gain, and increased risk of liver disease and cardiovascular disease. Due to the risk of alcohol dependency and its negative consequences, there are many other more effective ways to improve health that researchers recommend that don't require alcohol consumption, such as maintaining a healthy diet, engaging in regular exercise, and getting enough sleep. So, although research shows that there are some health benefits of drinking red wine in moderation, there is not enough antioxidants and resveratrol in wine to replicate the benefits of exercising. Thus, we conclude that the myth that a glass of red wine is equivalent to an hour at the gym is quite exaggerated and misleading. Please visit McMaster's Demystifying Medicine website and YouTube channel if you would like to watch more informational videos like this.